Have we become the people that our parents have warned us to stay away from? What is up guys, it is your boy Ethan Singh Sings, aka The Curious Troll, whichever one you know me by. Welcome to Controversial Conversation. It's the show that talks about everything controversial while trying to have a conversation about it. I think. If you've seen the title of this video, you already know what it's about. We're going to talk about three things today. The who, the what, and the why. The who is very simple. Her name is Mishka Mudli and she comes from Laneja. She's a high school student there. And... If you don't know who this girl is, congratulations, you have a life. However, if you do know who this girl is, chances are that you've either memed her, you've either mocked her, teased her, or talked about how she's doing really terrible things with one video. So a few days ago, this girl Mishka has posted up a video warning or basically threatening future rivals or girls that would attempt to talk to her boyfriend or now ex-boyfriend Ivashin Muni. Unfortunately, I cannot name, I cannot keep this nameless because everybody already knows who they are and I have to report on this. So that is why I'm using the names. I do apologize for any inconvenience. The video she posted up was quite vulgar. It was really predatory and it made a lot of people laugh because it was really, really insensitive. Here's what it looks like. So, hi everyone. Um, I'm just barely making this thing out to say that I'm dating Yvashan and yeah, so I'd highly appreciate it if the girls please stay away from him. I would highly appreciate it. I don't really want him talking to any girls other than me and of course his family. So please do keep this <coughs> away from my men because if I do find you, I will hunt you down. I will <coughs> and I will put you six feet under. Okay, so please leave him alone. He's mine. He's taken. Thank you. Bye. As you can see from that video, she means business when it comes to warding off other people from her ex-boyfriend now. Because when Ivashin has actually seen this video and saw that it went viral, apparently or allegedly the couple has been broken up due to the backlash and negative feedback that has been gotten from the video itself. Lots of other stuff have been dug up on this girl, such as she has a number of different boyfriends, she posts up really disgusting pictures apparently, people are scrutinizing her from all sides of the spectrum. But what is it exactly we're mad about? Is it is it just that we want to mock people? Is it just that we want to tease people? Is it because we're angry at her for putting out a video like that or are we just being cyber bullies now that you've seen the video and we are almost in the know of why she posted this obviously with regards to the video itself it's to ward off people that have been predatory on her boyfriend there have apparently um future girls she hasn't talked about any girls that are actually talking to them however i think that this is a little um worrying for me i think now here's the part that i don't understand all right Everyone is saying that she has had a number of boyfriends over the years or a number of boyfriends from last year to this year um, About five or six or something like that. I don't know the specific number and I don't really care Here's the part that interests me the most Have you you the person that's watching in your PC or you watching in your mobile? Have you ever posted up something on a whim because it's never happened? No, so the thing that I want to know is who does that? Who has been talking to this guy in the past that has actually tripped this video up? Because I think that if you're publicly posting a video to ward off potential rivals and stuff, there's probably existing ones that are currently talking to the person that you're with or the person that Mishka was with. And this Ivashin guy has been memed in more ways than 1500 or something, I don't know. Now, there's been a lot of fake photos that have been coming up talking about different conversations, fake conversations, claiming that his name is Ivashin with the I-V-A-A. -A. Um, apparently they've broken up. Some people say they were never dating in the first place. There's a lot of speculation around it. But I wanna talk about what we're doing. Okay, at first glance, I will be the first to admit that I joked about it. I saw the video and myself and Will, we exchanged a few jokes about it, talking about how um, the younger generation is being so immature. 
But when you take a step back and you think about it objectively, you think about what you're feeding into it. Because all of the people that's feeding into it are actually giving her popularity, are actually making her relevant. I mean, yes, we're teaching her a lesson, some might say, but have we really been teaching people lessons lately? I mean, it's 2018 and the people that get mocked usually, the people that get called out, the people that get teased are actually the ones that stick in the media, the people that are staying in the know and are actually getting popular off it. I mean, we have so many video creators, not to mention any names, um, that are just... They don't, they don't belong. I, in my opinion, I don't think they belong. Because they don't have anything of solid sustenance to actually give to their viewers. I mean, how can you be relevant? How can you stay relevant if your only trick is to mess up? I think that we need to take a step back and we need to look at ourselves, re-examine ourselves. Because I took a step back and I thought to myself, what am I doing? Why am I making this person relevant? I think that the older us, the 2015 or 2014 us, when we saw something embarrassing on the net, we would laugh at it and we would not share it, we would not repost it, because everyone feels like they need to be relevant nowadays. You're not a hero if you're reposting this and you're mocking a person. Uh, just because they did something bad doesn't mean that you have to match what they did. That's just my opinion, obviously. When I started making this video, I thought of a lot of things to say. I thought of um, mocking and teasing in my own way, talking about how I'm the real devotion or whatever it is. But I'm not going to say that, obviously, because that's just wrong. It's wrong. And the sooner you learn from that, the better. I think we've all been sucked into the social media black hole where we just don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. I think that we have become predatory to anyone that has the slightest mess up, we start to judge them. And who are we to be judged, jury, and executioner? That's all I'm saying. So the who and the what have already been discovered. Her name is Mishka Mudli, talking about her ex-boyfriend, Evoshin Kuni, and she made a very, very bad video about how girls should stay away from him. It had a very bad backlash, and people started memeing it, people started talking about it. But what happens if somebody was actually talking to her boyfriend? What if somebody was actually threatening her relationship? What if she's actually not as insane as we think she is? Yes, she's had five or six boyfriends in the past. Who are we to judge? How is that any of our business? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand that we are mad about it. Apparently, we're, we're so offended by it. Why are we so offended, by the way? This is her personal thing. She shared it publicly. I get that. I get that she was looking for interactions, why are we giving it to her? My opinion is that somebody actually was threatening her relationship, that's the reason why she made this video. I think that she is not innocent in all of this, but I think that she deserves to have her story heard. I think that she has gone about it in the wrong way and I think that she regrets it now because she has lost her boyfriend. Anyone that is making memes about this, anyone that is making fake conversations about this, I think you really need to re-examine your standpoint in society. I think you really need to re-examine what you're trying to do. And if you're really the hero everyone thinks you are, because mocking someone and teasing someone instead of educating them and helping them be a better person just makes you a villain. And that is where I stand with this. Um, I'm not saying what she did was right. I think what she did was completely wrong. I think that she was being overprotective and that's not a bad thing, but I think the way that she handled it was really wrong. At the same time, I think we're equally to blame for how this is spun out of control. We've actually ruined a relationship, possibly, and two people's lives for just a bit of time. Hopefully this dies down just as well as some other creators have. Note to self, they haven't died down. They're still relevant because they mess up. And that is the point I'm trying to make here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you agree with my opinion, you can share this with your friends. If you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my Facebook and my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. It's been Curious Troll. I'm out.